Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother Rayan Arab recording for the Daily Reminder. I want you to be enthusiastic right now. I want you to take a deep breath and be excited. Why? Because it's Ramadan. We are actually here alive right now, breathing and able to fast and pray Qiyam al by the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal. He blessed us and he granted us, he granted us his mercy by allowing us to be here right now. If you are watching this video right now, then you are blessed. And if you are not watching this video right now, then you may be blessed and you may be not. Allah Azza wa Jal knows and I don't. But Alhamdulillah, Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an, the month of Ramadan in which the Qur'an was revealed in as guidance huda linnas as guidance for mankind this month the quran was revealed in and what was revealed who was who was it revealed to it was revealed to the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the messenger of course taught it to us and now we read the quran and we earn a reward a tremendous reward for reading this quran if you recite the quran ramadan it's not like reciting the quran in any other month when you recite it in ramadan you earn a triple double double reward subhanallah this is from the mercy of allah azza wa jal that he only grants to those people whom he chose do you think everybody every muslim fasts ramadan no not every Muslim fast and not every Muslim reads the Quran. They pretend maybe, but only very few people do that. And if Allah Azza wa blessed you and allowed you to do that, then you are one of those chosen people whom Allah Azza wa has chosen. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, according to Abu Huraira, when Ramadan comes, the gates of the hellfire close and the gates of paradise open up. The gates of the hellfire close and the gates of the paradise open up. So this means it's a chance. The gates of paradise are open up for you. It's a chance for you to enter paradise for eternity where you will not suffer any pains, where you will not be tortured, will you, where you will not even get a headache. Allahu Akbar. In paradise, you will not get a headache. In paradise, you will not bleed. In paradise, do you know the lowest level of paradise? The lowest level of paradise is 10 times better than everything in this world. Do you know the last man to enter paradise, the last man to enter Jannah, he gets to have 10 times of what is in this world. Allahu Akbar. That is from the graces of Allah. That's the last man to enter paradise. That means that that is a man who did really bad, but he had that belief in Allah. So then Allah allowed him in paradise, but he was like the last person due to his bad deeds. Imagine if you were the first person. Well, of course, you can't be the first person. The first person will be the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. But imagine if you're with him, with that group, with the Sahabis, with the Tabi'een, with the Salaf, those people who will enter paradise immediately. Imagine if you are with them, then you will earn a high grade in paradise. Only and only if you fast Ramadan and you read the Quran and you pray Qiyam al and you have that sincere intention in your heart, you're doing this for the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. You're not doing it to play games, you're not doing it to show off. And of course, Allah Azza wa Jal said, Kul amal ibn Adam lah illa sawm fa innahu li. All the deeds of the son of Adam is for him. Except fasting, it is for me. It is for the Almighty Allah. When you fast, when you fast, you are fasting for Allah. This deed is for the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. When you pray, it's for you. When you read the Quran, when you give charity, it's for you. But when you fast, it is for the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Why? Because you are guaranteed to be sincere when you are fasting. You're not showing off, you're doing it for yourself. You're not telling the people, hey, I'm fasting, I'm doing... Because even if you were showing off and telling the people, hey, I'm fasting, then you could hide behind the bushes and have a drink and eat and go ahead and live your life. But no, you choose to do it for the Almighty Allah. So what is the message of this talk? The message of this talk is that you should have sincerity in this Ramadan and fast with that good intention and you should make sure that you recite at least the Quran once or twice because Al-Imam al-Shafi'i, Al-Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, he used to recite the Quran 60 times in Ramadan, 60 times. This means two times every day, two times, every 12 hours, one time. 
Allahu Akbar. By the end of Ramadan, he recited the whole Quran 60 times. You recite it once or twice. And I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept that from you and I. May Allah grant us sincerity. Thank you very much for listening. Wa jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org slash donate. And stay updated by joining our network's social links.